<laughs> Before all that, we buy around 40,000 tonnes of batteries every year. Less than half get recycled properly. They just get chucked in the normal bins at home. They cause at least one serious fire every day, just like this one at a recycling centre in Reading. Just how quickly those flames get out of control. Wow. Presenter Shaniqua Paris has been to find out the safe and easy ways to dispose of them properly. You've probably got a couple rattling around in a drawer at home, but batteries have moved on from the double A's you might find in a TV remote. Today, we have built-in batteries in scooters or phones, and even batteries in vapes. They are everywhere and often hidden away. So when it comes to binning them, you might not know the danger you're creating. No battery should ever be put in a general waste bin. The Greater Manchester Fire Service say battery fires are on the rise. They've attended 20 battery fires in the past two years, 14 of which occurred in waste disposal centres. One of the problems with throwing batteries in general waste is that when the bin lorry collects your rubbish, it crushes the batteries along with everything else. Now this allows the dangerous chemicals inside of them to leak out making them more likely to catch fire. With three decades of firefighting experience between them, battery fires are something Sam Welland and John Alexander of Greater Manchester Fire Service are concerned about. They're definitely on the increase, and I would say that's partly due to an increase in lithium ion particularly. Lithium ion batteries are the new kids on the block. They hold much more energy and weigh less than traditional ones, but if they get damaged, they can be dangerous. Most vapes contain this type of battery. Uh, the big concern I think with lithium ion batteries is mainly that we haven't got enough knowledge yet, but there being a new technology on how to extinguish those sort of fires because they generate their own heat, because they create their own oxygen, and that creates problems for us because we can't extinguish the fire really. We're isolating and using our previous knowledge to just keep the fire as, as, as cool as we can. And we know that battery fires often happen in bins at home or at waste disposal units as well. Why is that such a concern? What you've got is a lot of combustible, flammable material. Um, these, these fires are self-sustaining. So what you've got is uh, a perfect storm there. But one particularly, uh, just recently, was a um, was a bin lorry. And the, the, the refuse collectors said, uh, as they'd put a, a bin on and crushed it. In that, almost the fire started almost instantaneously. And by the time we got there, the whole back of the bin lorry was alive. No, no matter what we did, we couldn't get the fire out. And, and it was then that I started thinking we possibly got a damaged battery. How long did it take to put out? Six hours in all. In just three months this year, Suez, a waste contractor in Manchester, had 37 fire-related incidents caused by lithium batteries. It's the biggest cause of fire at waste disposal sites. And it's a very real threat that Hannah Bagley, a waste disposal site manager in Manchester, has to be prepared for. You know, some people may just pop those in a black bin bag. That person who's disposed of the waste and drove off site are never going to be informed or even realise that a fire took place because of how they disposed of that waste. With so much flammable material on site, a fire here could be serious. Black bags go onto our main facilities, so they'll go through a shredder. That could then potentially cause a fire in the shredder. It could then go on one of the belts and cause different um, areas of the facility to start a fire. So they can become, you know, catastrophic. You know, you need to make sure that we're not putting batteries in black bin bags. Here there are containers to safely dispose of the different types of batteries and small appliances like tools, toothbrushes, mobile phones and vapes. For site users coming on, we just ask that they recycle correctly. If you're unsure, you know, we're here to help, we're to guide and uh, educate our site users. Once this box gets full, what happens? So we book it in with um, a contractor, they'll come and collect it and then that will go on to get processed and recycled. Battery and bin fires are something both the waste disposal teams and the fire service have to plan for. And today, the fire service in Bury are doing just that. This training exercise is recreating a house fire and shows how quickly a fire can spread. So we're about to witness is what could happen from one single battery being in the bin. 
Leon Parks is Assistant Chief Fire Officer at Greater Manchester Fire and Rescue Service. The one thing we are noticing lately is a growth in the number of fires which have been started by batteries. Right now, it's only after a few minutes. And if you imagine that was in a contained room within somebody's house, how quick that could turn into something far more serious. The last thing you should do is try to tackle a blaze like this yourself. Think about your safety. Think about your escape route. You know, how are you going to escape if your primary route out is compromised by a fire? Early warning is key. The importance of smoke alarms can't be underemphasized. When events like this do happen, it will give early warning and enable people to leave a property before that fire really starts to develop, and smoke alarms really do save lives. For Leon, training like this is vital. It's really, really important because it's a really dangerous environment. The temperatures can go in excess of 1,000 degrees, uh, which is an incredible temperature to send our firefighters into to extinguish these flames. With so many fires being caused by disposing of batteries in the wrong way, the fire service are running the Be Battery Aware campaign to encourage us all to do it the right way. The key message is if you're removing batteries to replace them, dispose of them properly. If you don't know or you're unsure, then make sure you dispose of that device uh, properly because that may well have a lithium battery uh, contained within it. Some supermarkets, some shops, have uh, recycling, specific recycling bins for these particular uh, devices. And we know sometimes if you don't dispose of vapes correctly, that can be a problem too. The shops where you actually can buy vapes are legally bound to take the used vapes back. Oh. Uh, a lot of people don't know that. Or to recycle them in waste disposal sites and, and, and some places within supermarkets or shops. Wow. Batteries have the power to help empower our lives, but they can also put our lives at risk. So no matter how easy you think it is to chuck them in the bin, don't, because that could be the start of something a lot more serious. It's a really good reminder in the lead up to Christmas. There'll be loads of batteries in your house with the kids, won't they? It's easy to do, but use those bins in the supermarket. Yeah, take them to quite. the supermarket. Tell you what, nothing goes to waste with Bryony in the kitchen. She's whipping up three dishes. You